Just Cause 2 is a ridiculous game, but I mean that in the best possible way. This is a game that lets you grapple to a helicopter, beat up the pilot, hijack the chopper, shoot up a military base, set the helicopter on a collision course for a fuel tank, and then parachute away from the bird right before it crashes and burns in an enormous explosion. There's a lot of crazy fun in here, and when Just Cause 2 gives you that kind of freedom, it soars. Unfortunately, targeting issues drag the gunplay down and many of the missions simply stink. There are a lot of little glitches and annoyances that might get on your nerves, but when you're soaring over the mountains in a fighter jet or leaping from the roof of one vehicle to another, the frustrations are easily forgotten. The game's best asset, by far, is its gargantuan size. Just Cause 2 takes place on the island nation of Panau, and it's just enormous. You could spend countless hours in the capital city alone, and that's just a tiny corner of the map. From the snow-capped mountains to hidden forest villages to sun-drenched beaches, the game's got an incredible variety of areas to explore, and it gives you a ton of vehicles to do it in. Motorcycles, helicopters, speedboats, fire trucks, passenger jets, and loads more. There are over a hundred different vehicles to use, though if you want to make a quicker trip, you can extract quickly to a location you've already discovered. The vehicles handle mostly fine, though the crazy physics and loose aircraft handling can make some race challenges a frustrating hassle. The most fun way to get around, however, is to use your parachute and grappling hook in tandem, because it makes you feel a bit like Spider-Man, swinging around without a care in the world. Just Cause 2 is at its best when you're just tooling around looking for items like money stashes, upgrade kits for your weapons, and generally causing havoc. You were in chaos for blowing shit up, and it works like a sort of currency, unlocking new missions and new weapons and vehicles you can order up from the black market dealer. Besides, blowing shit up is what Just Cause 2 is all about. Fuel containers, SAM installations, oil refineries, antennas, it's all there for you to destroy. And since your goal is to undermine the government's influence over the people, there's even a story reason for making things go boom. Besides, if you want to get 100% completion credit for any towns and bases you explore, you're gonna have to tear things down. Of course, blowing shit up draws the attention of the local authorities. You'll deal with them a lot, in and out of missions. At first you'll feel like ammo is much too scarce, but once you get into the swing of things, you won't be scrounging too often. The gunplay is loose and the auto-targeting is forgiving, which is in keeping with the broad and ridiculous nature of the game. When you're just running around and mowing down the cops, the action can be fun. When you try to pull off more specific stunts, however, you'll realize how broken the targeting actually is. It's awesome that you can hang from the front of a speeding vehicle and shoot the passenger as he leans out the door. It's not awesome at all that you can aim directly at his head and unload multiple clips and not register a single hit. If the auto-targeting doesn't want you hitting a dude, you aren't hitting him, making this one of the few games that punishes you for being a good shot and rewards you for being a bad one. Still, as long as you're playing loose and spraying bullets, you'll have fun with the shooting. And thanks to the grapple hook and the parachute, not to mention how easy it is to steal a vehicle, you'll have even more fun making a quick getaway. Soldiers, there's a price on my head, you know. You're going no place till I've seen the White Tiger. There is a throwaway story holding all of this together. Like in the original Just Cause, you play Rico, a member of a U.S. agency called simply The Agency. To get to the bottom of some shady business, you'll gain the trust of Panal's three gangs, which will send you off on various missions. The story is pure fluff, more interesting for the so bad it's almost good voice acting and the so offensive it's almost comical accents than for any plot developments. Now one of them, the pig dog general Boom Boom Boholano, has found her out and is looking for her. You must pick her up and escort her to safety. Some of the missions are sort of cool, like one that sends you into a Bermuda Triangle type zone. Others have time limits or make you escort AI characters that do stupid things, which leads to some trial and error restarts. 
The free and easy mechanics that make free roaming so awesome aren't so fun when the game wants you to be precise. For example, jumpy physics lead to awesome stunts, but they also lead to a mission failure when hitting a little bump causes all the important cargo in your truck to fly out, or makes your speedboat go careening everywhere in impossible ways during a race that forces you to cross land. Some bugs might also get in the way of the fun, from sound setters to crashes, but these issues aren't overbearing, just occasionally annoying. But in spite of the drawbacks, Just Cause 2 is a fun and attractive game that gives you a lot to do and a huge playground to explore. It's crazy and silly, so you'll spend a lot of time grinning and not so much time cringing. Besides, this is a game that lets you grapple to a moving motorcycle, throw the passenger onto the street, drive off a cliff, parachute down to a military base, get in a tank, and blow more up. And sometimes, that's all you need to have a good time.